hello welcome back to my channel it's a favorite youtuber kindala here with a new video sorry guys you guys are not gonna be looking at me i'm just have to, i just have to do voiceover on this one as at the time we did this recording of this vlog i wasn't really feeling good so i couldn't talk much ah uh, so yeah i'm just gonna give you a voiceover on this vlog hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are doing good all right today we are in elmina Okay, Elmina B happens to be one of the oldest towns in Ghana. Elmina is situated, or you can find Elmina in the central region of Ghana. Yeah, along the coast. And it's a beautiful place. Elmina happens to be the place where you find the Elmina Castle. Hence the name Elmina Castle. Elmina Castle is one of the oldest, or I can say the oldest castle that was built in Ghana. And um, it was used for the slave trade 400 and something years ago. So yeah, we decided to pay a visit to this castle and learn more about the history. And guys, guess what? We're going to take you along with us whilst we listen to some sad news, but happy ending. All right. Before, before we get into it, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you haven't uh share this yet kindly share and share and share and share and don't forget to give us a thumbs up all right guys let's get right into the video Okay, so guys, whilst you watch this video, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this castle and then at a point, I will leave you to enjoy uh, or hear from what the tour guard uh, was telling us and then I'll come back in to give you a little, a little, you know, tips. But, you know, have you ever wondered what is so special about the Elmina Castle? Well, this castle was the first trading post built in the Gulf of Guinea and the oldest European building in existence south of the Sahara. The trade post was not built to enhance or enable selling and buying, but to trade in humans, specifically blacks, acquired as slaves. The Portuguese erected this castle in 1482. At that time, the was there's no way to escape. And got the castle very close to the sea. The original ones are getting past. So all of them come into the place. And then the clothes that you see, um, there was a program here. It was held on 3rd July 2015. And the title for the program is The Return of the Slaves. Yeah. Many people came here, some from the States, some from uh, Canada. So many places. We were all black people. He slept in this dungeon for one night. Just to have a feel of how the slaves felt when they were here. So this is so it's like they were here for a rainy night or something. So this is what they used to come back. Yeah, they came about it. Yeah, so this is water reservoir. The selected one who will be compelled, who will be forced to climb this. There's a trap door on top, they open it and up the door to the darkness and move. And after the rape, the woman still comes back as a slave. Yeah, so this castle, like I said, was built in 1482. The castle is also known as St. George Castle, or you can say Castle of Mines. It became the most important stop on the route to the Atlantic slave trade. The Dutch later brought down the Portuguese by seizing the fort in 1637. After several failed attempts, the trade in humans continued under the Dutch until 1841, but later became the possession of Great 
Britain. One hundred and fifty women were here. And there was a door at the side of this. Another door over there. Ventilation was from this one. Air from this one. And the one you see at the at the end. And this is the original floor. You see, human beings were sleeping on the bed floor. And I've already told you that there were no toilet facilities for them. So they put containers in their dungeons for them to ease themselves. And um, they were women, they had their menses, they were in the same condition. And they stayed in the dungeons for three months to wait for the ships. But the ships came every three months. There were no machines at that time. They used the power of the wind from America to this place of Caribbean. That is why a lot of them died. And those who died, they were thrown into the sea. But when you go to the Lumina town, there is a cemetery we call Dutch Cemetery. It is still there. But we call it in our land, we call it a prophecy. But in English, it's Dutch Cemetery. So there is a tour here known as Elmina Walking Tour. They will take you to the town, they will show you the Dutch Cemetery where we have the historical buildings. But the land owners were thrown into the sea. Let's continue. Cells. The one with the crossbone and the slide and then the other one. Aside these two cells, all the rooms on the ground floor were yeah, dungeons for the uh, male slaves. They were about 600. And the women were in the no, female slave dungeons. The women were also about 400. So at one time, the castle held approximately 1,000 slaves. The governor of the castle was on top of everybody who was out there. And the middle one for the assistant governor. And the rest of the rooms were for soldiers. We have the missionaries and this guy for the merchants. To go back from the But the metal, the iron ring on top, also added by the British. British used the castle as police school in 1948. So policemen were climbing up and down to train uh, exercise. So after the tour, if you want to try, you can do it. When you fall down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You climb this one, when you fall down, no insurance. <laughs> You're in the room. Yeah, so this is the church I was talking about, the Portuguese church. Um, when that, I told you that divided the church. Right, because they were full of Yeah, ground floor as they are, auction floor, upper floor, and this one. And even the other, they're taking the side. Anyway. The for the juniors. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Uh, I know you said before that they couldn't escape, but just in case somebody happened to escape, what happens to them? Well, if you escape, you have to escape. But if you, if, if you are caught, that will be a punishment. You go there later. Mm -hmm. That's when you have the cost for the escape. I see. Now, let's come to this side. Mm -hmm. Which is now the historical site, renovated by several governments of Ghana, is recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site and a major tourist attraction. Slave access to waiting boat. All the male slaves also pass through this way to the door of the hotel. And the small room that you see back there. That was where they kept uh, branded irons. The male slaves were branded. And then the branded irons with the initials on top, either association or uh, name of the uh, initials of the slave master. So we have some like IT, IT, International Trading Association. We have some like JSS, John Smith Slave. So they put that side in the fire, very hot. When you move to you touch either your chest, your arm will fall. So the max will be there for easy. Now you have to mind your head, and there is one step down. Mind your head. Yes, the female slaves were coming from this direction that we were standing. And I told you there were steps. And the male slaves were from this side. So this was the place that 
they saw themselves the first time they were the Titans. By that time, the whole world had been captured. And when they were brought here, they separated all of them. So husbands and wives saw themselves here, brothers and sisters, and even friends. And I strongly believe that some of them will be crying in chains and then they bow to this one. And all the world will And this I love to walk. You have to bow very low, count five steps before you go down. <laughs> Lord, wow. hmm. Now, so this is the door of no return. All the streets are. One of their governors died, so they wrote this to him in the government. The governor is from Zina, he's one of the provinces in Zina. And he was the last director general of the of the West Indies. And the governor arrived here on the 16th of January, 17th. He died 12 months, the same year when he was 41 years old. And this is a tribute written by a priest. This is a tribute to the governor. The name of the priest is A. Andresen. The priest is from Vienna. And this is a village in Zina. What the priest is saying is that when the governor was alive, he was very humble, he was honest, and God fearing. That's what the priest is saying. God fearing. Now we have two separate cells, we are comparing the cells. Yeah, so I couldn't continue the story back there. I couldn't continue a recording because it was so sad listening to it. But yeah, this slave trade was done uh, because human uh, labor was needed in the European countries and the Americas. So they had to come to Africa and then, yeah, trade in humans uh, for labor work. At least that's, they believe blacks are more stronger and are capable of doing farm or plantation work so yeah oh and also did i mention that the castle was featured in when a uh, Herzog's uh film cobra vet yeah it was and um yeah that's it you know what i'm not gonna bore you too much with uh talks I want you to enjoy the rest of the video with no interruptions. If you haven't subscribed at this point, kindly, kindly subscribe and kindly share. Kindly give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend to watch this video. And if you haven't been there yet, all road leads to Ghana, Central Region, Elmina, and to Elmina Castle. Enjoy. No food, no water until you die. This is hell on earth. That's why there's a crossbone and a skull in front of this one. So whoever came here dies. Let's continue. It's a red wolf. It's a wolf. It's a wolf. From here, he was sent to Freetown in Sierra Leone for one year and later exiled to Seychelles Island across the Indian Ocean. The same British also captured a queen mother. The name is Nana Ya Asantua. The woman, very brave woman, she was also in prison in Portugal and later exiled to Seychelles Island. And then they did all these things to them because they resisted British rule. British rule. And look at this one. You see the, the symbol? That's the one in the cat. These are six years beside this symbol. That the, the, the circle is eternity, means eternity, and the triangle is perfection. So someone Christian, someone not. Let's see the governess. And then the governess bedroom. Mm -hmm. Bedroom for the governor. And also we have two little rooms here. 
Excellent governor. And this moat will also be filled with water from here up to here. And the bridge is clean. If a drawbridge, they can easily lift it up to go down there. So we will get a chance to enter the castle for security. Uh, yeah. And look, the one on top of the hill, this one is 65. So just went right there to protect this one. Because when that were attacking the Portuguese, some of them came from this direction. And some of the buildings you see were built by the Europeans for the women who got pregnant. But later they look out and they will take some of them and they are using them today. That's the lagoon. That's the block for the mixed race. Oh. And then today, this is where we end it from. Any question? Mm -hmm. Now, in the early 1990s, uh, the chiefs held a ceremony here called Fihankra. Fihankra, which simply suggests when the slaves were going, 
they never had opportunity to say goodbye. And after they went to America for a meeting, when they came, they brought a plan. I think when we were entering the first cell, I don't know what that is. So yeah, that's British flag at the American side. It's a mission statement of the whole tour of the castle. And the flag reads, in the everlasting memory of the anguish of our ancestors, may those who die rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May humanity never again perpetrate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, vow to uphold this. We, the living, vow to uphold this. So I think as uh, we walk out the castle, we all carry a lot of responsibilities. We are just going to preach against injustice. And from today, we see ourselves as brothers and sisters. So we, uh, that will be the end of the tour. I wish all of you a safe journey and also have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. So we're here in uh, Mina Castle and so far there's been a lot of history learnt. I've learnt more than I, would, I thought I knew what the slave trade was and how they were able to get all these slaves on board has one of the most tragedy and saddest stories for our country and our culture. But we look forward, even though it was 400 years of slavery, we look forward to you know more harmony and you know forgiveness hopefully <laughs> so other than that the experience was good i enjoyed it i learned a lot from this little tour that we did and i urge you to if you need diaspora out there i urge you to come home and check it out it will change your life for good okay hi uh, it's it's been a nice time here we learned, we learned a lot of things there's so many things they don't teach us in school so i think you should come down here and let a little history for yourself because the ones in the book they are edited so we are here at the omina castle and we just took our tour and it was, it was really sad but hey that's life you guys need to be here you need to you know trace the roots come down here look at your where your ancestors slept and all the pain that they went through i mean it's bad <laughs>